Yo, 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 we back with another episode. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This episode is sponsored by me. Yes, I am the sponsor. I am the producer, the creator. I am me. This is episode 15. Welcome to MTMJ Fit Podcast. I am your host, Michael Johnson. I created this about three years ago, this name, right, this brand, because I noticed everything that I did, whether it was fitness related, whether it was content created, it was all about motivation, right? And it's been a very interesting 10 days since I last part parted. And like I told you, man, this is a mental space for me to release all my thoughts, things that I'm seeing, but being genuine about it, right? I want to be transparent. I want to be honest. So this is going to be a good episode, man. We got a lot to talk about. Um, um, again, this is this this podcast is sponsored by me, right? I ask, please, 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 wherever you listen to this podcast, if they allow you to rate and review if you love what you're hearing. If you don't, how about comment and tell me where I can get better, right? I think the worst advice is no advice, right? Help me get better at this because at the end of the day, uh, this is a safe space for me, right? I, I like to be transparent. I like to be honest on this podcast and I like to be truth telling too, right? I want to make sure I'm not sitting on here lying and fabricating, but this is going to be a good episode, man. And I, I hope you enjoy it as, as all the episodes I put forth the best effort I can. Um, and yeah. How, how do we want to start this podcast? Let's go. Let's get it, baby. Oh. Welcome to another episode. Make sure you go over to YouTube and subscribe to the podcast. Hey, we're in the season of fitness, right? First three months of 2022, folks are spending an extra amount of time in the gym trying to be their do their best thing, trying to live their best life, right? Go over to epnnutrition.com, get your subs, make sure you enter the code MJohnson10, all caps. Let's get it. This is going to be an awesome episode. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling great. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I hope everybody had a great last 10 days. Let's get it. I'm not the biggest boss, but I'm my biggest boss. Hey, let's go. Hey, look. Got to get the air horns. Let's get it. Hey. Got a fresh line up. I don't got a fresh line up. Got this scarf on because I need a haircut. <laughs> My barber, you know, he had to quarantine. Hopefully, we back this week. Let's get it. Welcome to episode 15 of the podcast, MTMJ Fit Podcast. Make sure you go to YouTube and subscribe. Make sure you rate and view on Apple and follow so you could be one of the first people to get this content when I release it. Let's get it. Okay. Uh, uh. It ain't that I'm on my job and I ain't get my and it's just a little day of the life of a damn boss. Hey, so look. Last week, right? I like to be transparent. I stepped on the scale for the first time in a year, and what I saw on that scale wasn't great, right? Of course. Transparency. There's been a lot of eating over the last two years. Um, a lot of it's been, I want to say, stress eating, if that makes sense. So when I stepped on the scale, I stalled 350 pounds, y'all. Now, I don't look like I'm 350 pounds, but I'm going to be honest with you. I preach knowing your body, right? Over the last few months, I've been noticing some things about my body that I didn't necessarily like, right? Um, when I was super... Not even just be big, because I'm going to tell you one thing. I think a lot of times we pay so much attention to our outer appearance that we're not really focused on what's going on on the inside, right? So, 
while I'm in shape, right? I'm not in the shape that I necessarily hold myself to, like the standard that I hold myself to. So we all know that means I need to make some adjustments, not to my fitness lifestyle, but to my nutrition lifestyle, right? Whether it is, you know, my big thing is, and um, what's the word I want to use, man? Lifestyle, family, family lifestyle plays a part for me in what happens long term, right? So um, what I notice about my mom is she likes a lot of, you know, processed sugars, right? And that that attitude plays into my makeup, my identity, right? So like when things aren't going so well, um, cause there's a lot of stress that goes in being, be, trying on the road to being my own boss, right? Where I have more, of, more control over my time, uh, my time with my family, my time with myself and my time with my lifestyle. There's like, when I tell you about take some time to spend some time with your thoughts, some time necessarily like how to be better at this podcast, the content, the visual content. So there's a lot of thoughts that goes into it. Like how can I be better with my finances, right? How can I grow my finances and make my finances work more with me for me? So then, then there's C19 that's been playing a major part into my anxiety because there's, there's so much of a misconception about the do's and don'ts and what you can and what you can't. Should I do this or shouldn't I do this? Um, my wife brought up a big point. Like, you know, DC started this. Uh, you need to show proof of a vaccination to get into restaurants and public places. And that is a violation of HIPAA, right? Back in the day, if you violate it, there could be penalties and consequences about like putting people's information out. And there is a gray area, but that's going too far. Specifically, when it comes to my nutrition, I have to reassess it. And I know not re have to. I did. I reassessed it. So when I saw what I saw on that scale, let me tell you, I spent a couple of hours with myself. Right. Um this is a new pod area space that I'm in now. So I sat in this room by myself and just spent just spent a lot of time with my thoughts. And I gave myself a time frame to get my life in order, to make some changes, to 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 be more proactive with my nutrition. And I gave myself also a time frame to do it. So today we're at you know, as we're recording this podcast, we're at January 24th. I gave myself literally to my birthday to not just be better, but to get better, right? To focus more on more cardio. I had already up my cardio, but to be intentional about doing these things, right? So we're going to cut carbs out for a little bit. Not necessarily cut carbs out for the entirety of the next few months but we're going to make a conscious effort to avoid those processed sugars so often right avoid those those uh um uh, the cholesterol like the high cholesterol foods like the breaded foods to make more of a conscious effort with my protein intake, which was already decent, but with the workout I'm about to implement into my lifestyle a little bit more aggressively, I need to make sure the diet also matches that. And also, the biggest thing that I wanted to do this last couple months is more sleep, right? So I can be more active, less angry, more transparent, and to be more of a better version of me, right? So that's what the plan is. Let's get it. Hey. Oh. Come on, man. Who don't like Mike? Let's get it. But yeah, we gonna we gonna do that, man. Look. One thing about this podcast, I want to make sure y'all understand. I'm a truth teller when it comes to what's going on in my life. And I want to make sure I'm being honest. We don't want to sit over here and tell no stories. I just want to make sure I'm being honest. But this next topic, 
I'm even more transparent with you. Let's get it. I hope you're dancing with me, man. Come on, baby. Oh, man, listen. Recipes of Michael Jackson, man. Gone too soon, baby. But like I said, man. You just got to be more transparent, man. Do the things. But anyway, make sure you go over to M. Go over to the merch store, man. Starting today, we got a 50% off the entire store, right? For the next three days. From the day to the 27th, man. Go over there and get your merch. Right now, I'm rocking the, the T. The M. The M. TMJ Fit Podcast t-shirt is hugging, right? The It's hugging. Man, support the podcast, man. All your support goes to the podcast, man. It goes to helping me be better. It, helping me get away from working a nine to five. Let's get it. Hey. So look, right? Um Everything someone has told me or given their opinion on the direction of my life, I take it and I listen to it, right? Um, and there's a lot of failures that go with kind of making decisions that may necess might not necessarily conform with the masses, whether it's working for someone, whether it's continuing to do a job you when you stop and think right you got to think like a person's intentions when they're telling you well i wouldn't do this or yeah you're right you wouldn't do this but let me make the mistake let me make the mistake so i can grow from it like today i was watching i am uh i am athlete podcast and i was listening to antonio brown kind of talk about what led up to him uh you know, leaving the team and all the extracurricular that went into that writing. And listen, he was speaking big facts, man. Just because you wouldn't do it or you'll sell your soul for a dollar don't necessarily mean I will. Like, I'm financially stable was what he said, right? And um, him and you could tell him and B. Marsh got into a little, a little scuffle, a verbal scuffle, if that makes sense. Um, and they were having what you what he calls locker room talk, right? And I can agree with him, right? Using my past situations, right? The prior to going back to the, my current job, right? I I'm gonna be honest with you and transparent. I, I had took a pay cut, and I said this before. I went from make I took like a three to four dollar pay cut. Um, my job laid me off at the time. I needed to make a decision that was best for me and my family, and it was either you take the pay cut. Or you be jobless, right? Or you just sit back for the next six months that the job is still going to pay you and you be okay, right? I can't sit in the house and not work. So I necessarily had to just take that gig, right? And I took it, right? But I also saw at a certain point, I, I, I have a certain lifestyle, right? My lifestyle first starts with my family. Like mentally, what makes sense? Uh, the, were all my bills getting paid by this job? No. Right. Was while there was a freedom in my schedule, um, while I was working there, the value really necessarily wasn't worth my time. Right. So I made the leap and I went back to my previous employer. Right. It came it came with a pay increase. You know, I made a couple more dollars. But see, here's the thing about hard work. You can't teach hard work, man. You either got it or you don't. Right. So I didn't want to, I went going into every situation. It, it has to make sense. So I took this gig. I came back as a manager. I did that right within months. Someone that I knew from my previous job title approached me with another opportunity, right? Um, it was basically these eyes and ears, right? First couple months, things were smooth. Then I started hearing things back from the manager talking about, 
uh, he's talking behind your back and all this. Action. And I started thinking to myself, right, me and this person been through a lot, more so than me and the manager. Me and the manager were cool, but from a job standpoint, me and this person been through a lot. And I don't necessarily think he would have brought me in if he was going to dog me. But in the time, right, I trusted my friend more so than the relationship I had built uh through my job with this person. So every time this person would say something, I would, okay, whatever. So then I started noting things over time, right? But at the time when I took this gig, I said to myself, I said, bro, I give you two years if if I don't want to get stuck in a job, right? Because I work too hard. I trust my hard work. I don't want to get stuck in a job, right? I want to make sure I'm advancing. Because, you know, sometimes people get into situations and they get they get a certain amount of money and they get complacent, right? The money makes them complacent, right? But not for me, right? I'm always thinking about ways I can grow myself, whether it be being a personal trainer, me being a podcaster, me being a content creator, me being a father, me being a husband, and me being a friend. I want to find ways that I can kind of grow, right? As I grew up through my life, right, I never was a follower, right? I always tried to find my other paths. And sometimes it made it seem a little geeky. It may have been a little standoffish, but it worked for me, right? Uh, while I've had failures, I've never had um, long-term setbacks. And see, that's the separation I think sometimes we miss. Like, you, you, you... You have hard times, right? But the only time those hard times can win, if you turn that excuse from them hard times into a major setback, right? If 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 I was an a-hole, you go back to Black Lives Matter, police reform, and all this other good stuff, man. When I was 17, right, um, I got I got um charged with armed robbery. I I look, I can only be transparent, right? I knew I didn't do it. I wasn't thinking about that. I wasn't raised on taking from nobody, right? I was raised in the church. Even the days I didn't feel like it, I tried to sleep late. I tried to do all this other stuff. My grandmother wasn't going for that. Get your butt up and get to church. And I know you hear this story from people, right? Where they say, man, oh, you were raised in the church and you never do this and you did it. I am sitting here with my heart in my hand. I would never. Right? Dudes be in the gym wearing shit, looking, trying to look all cool for the ladies. But then you start evaluating their whole vibe and it just don't match. It don't match what they trying, the vibe that they trying to go for as far as their appearance. Like, whether it's the energy, whether it's the process, whether it's the workout, it's, it's just a lot going on. Even the fake booties. I watched one lady in the gym today, boy. She had a full-blown fake booty. She knew people was looking at that booty. She knew she shouldn't have been doing some of them exercises. Then she started trying to vibe to her music. And her rhythm was, like, off. Like, the booty wasn't even moving. The hips wasn't moving. Nothing was moving. Like, stay true to you, man. When I say stay true to you, like, if you're going to get a BBW or whatever y'all call it, the, the, the big old booties, like, like, make sure it don't look so abnormal. Like, make sure it look, like, consistent with your vibe. Because that's crazy, man. I, I can't do it. But look. <laughs> oh, man. Don't, don't, don't be out here faking for the Joneses, man. These people don't care about you. <laughs> you trying to look all cool in the gym. Man, like, I go in the gym to sweat. Right, get better, leave. I talk about it all the time. I know I'm not supposed to worry about it, but you can't look all try to look all fly in the gym like you're going to the club and then put out shitty workouts or like like showing people how not to do a workout. Like shit just looks stupid. Let's get it. This is what our sissy work. This is what our sissy do. This is what our city do. DC started this. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. We listen to the Nike boots by Wale. Let's get it. Let's get it. Man, you know you can't find on Nike Boost, though. Nike Boost used to be the easiest thing to get. Now, you can't buy a pair of Nike Boost from the store. You can't get them online. They're talking about they discontinuing Nike Boost, but I keep seeing everybody with Nike Boost. When I want a pair of Nike Boost, I used to get a brand spanking new pair of Nike Boost every year. 
But now they make it so hard for you to get a pair of Nike boots. You can go, you only can go to one consistent location to find Nike boots now. And I don't go into malls, so like, if I ain't gonna, if I, if I'm not gonna find it online, chances I'm not gonna get it right. And like, we living in a C19 era. Like, you just don't want to be around people because people not honest, right? I want to tell you about my experiences and what I feel about like mandating showing vaccination cards when you go into restaurants because I think that's crazy too. But let's get it. Like, we're going to get serious. We're going to have a serious talk, right? I just want to I want to test the waters. Please comment below. DM me on Instagram at underscore M the motivator J underscore fitness. Tell me what you think about this topic because I don't understand it. I, I don't know if it's me. I'm a little confused, right? Fly it in the restaurant. Fly it in the restaurant. Seal got my Nike boots. So look, like I said, the mayor started this thing on January 15th that everyone in D.C. must show a vaccination card to get into establishments, whether it's eating, whether it's going to the game, blah, 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 right? And I get that, right? But help me understand how this makes sense, right? You, the D.C. court, I mean, no, the Superior Court system, you know, knocks something down, you know, where they... The president tried to mandate all jobs have that have more than a hundred employees have their employees be vaccinated, right? They had to be compliant with that or they'll lose their job. Either complying with the vaccination or you have to get a weekly COVID negative test, or something like that. Anyway, the court said they deemed it unconstitutional, so they knocked it down, which exempted the employees and would change it and reverted everything, like making getting COVID shots. Uh, uh, something that you want to do and not something someone is making you to do to continue to be employed. So help me understand how can a city mayor uh, force you to show proof of vaccination card when you go into a, a business and eat and all this other good stuff. And when you when you dig deep, I'm telling you this this world is trying to divide like your friends, your family. Just in general, because like this big thing about who's vaccinated and who's not like just want to put people's business out there. And now, like when you start thinking about guys like Kyrie Irving, Bradley Bill, these guys that didn't really understand the vaccination shot and the importance of it. um, You get their feeling, man. And why they not changing their, their narrative? There's no clear consensus on this situation, right? You have too many people doing too many different things. There, there's not enough honesty out here where, like, if I don't feel good, just stay home. I don't care if you think it's just a common cold. Until you know for sure what it is, just just, just stay home. You test yourself. You get the results. If it says you're good, you're good. You go on and do your thing. But back in the day, if I didn't feel well and I felt sick, I was going to take a day or two off. I wasn't going to go to work and spread whatever cold I may have got from my child to someone else. So I just think with COVID, we have to adapt to it like the flu, um, like pneumonia, and we just have to go with the flow. But I don't think I should necessarily tell somebody whether they can come into a business as an owner, lose out on tons of money because I'm forcing this on someone and then think it's supposed to be cool. Like, I shouldn't have to prove to you that I'm vaccinated. Like, the the uh, in this situation, the honor, honor system should be, it should be what it is. But because we don't put a dollar amount behind this over the last two years from the, the bailout checks that everyone received, the, you know, from the stimulus checks everybody got from... Every ounce that the government gave to everyone in order for people to like, you know, move and shake properly, it, it's made this so like it divided. Like, no, there's no just common sense. Like, if I feel sick, use my sick leave and then go on about it. Right. But now everyone has this. I woe is me. Like. If you don't feel good, just be honest and say, man, let me get tested bro, before I come around. Like, even if, like, they making these home tests, even that's becoming a, a big topic. Like, now we don't know how honest the COVID, the home test is. And I get it. 
It is what it is. But I'm not about to stand in line with two of my kids for hours at a time to, to get a shot and then, I mean, to get the vaccination test. And then I got to wait three days to find out whether I'm negative or positive. So now for three days, you're missing out on money. So I get that. Like, morals, standards, morals over standards, right? Like, if your morals matter, just be transparent and do the honors. But that leads me to this 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 next topic and the last topic of this episode, man. I hope you've enjoyed this episode so far, right? We're 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 moving into we're moving into a different new like I say, nutritional lifestyle for me. I need to just make some adjustments because what I saw on that scale, like I said at the beginning of the podcast, was just uh disappointed in myself, man. But look, this freaking pastor, right? I want to find him, man. I want to make sure y'all uh, know the exact thing. So look, the pastor, Mike Todd, was preaching the sermon, right? Listen, listen to him. Just listen to him. Let's go. Let's give it to get the man in play. So let me talk to y'all. He has spit in his hand, right? And now he takes the spit. Listen, this is when he rubs the spit on this man's face, y'all. Look, all over that man's face. It drips off his lip and he pulls it away. You hear this? Listen to me. We live in a day, right? If someone spits in your face, that's a fight. If someone spits in your face, that is a fight. Regardless of their relationship, right? You ain't about to spit in my face. You're not rubbing no no spit on my face, right? So I want I want to read to you exactly, you know, cuz he he had a problem with it then after the rap. Uh let's see what his his story uh, uh, and this is where most people would not face Jesus. And what Todd says in a clip that, uh huh, what most people would do, nah, that's not a, how you just react, is how the people in your life will react when God is doing what it takes for the mercy, the, for the miracle. You talk, uh huh, blah, 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 blah. He used to say the moment prompted disgust on social media. Uh, he never heard Hans Hard before today, but I truly understand. Uh-huh, that was his statement. At this point, if you still follow my tie, you you lack critical thinking skills. Uh-huh, that's what the people were saying, right? But I'm going to tell you this, man. What is CDC going to do about, <laughs> like, the jokes? Uh, see, the pastor will spit on your face, right? Anyway. So, look, I sent that to my pastor. And I wish I could have had my pastor on this podcast to just tell you exactly what he thought of it. Um, so when I first sent it to my pastor, right, he said, hold up a second. I laughed. He was like, what just happened? He said, that's for sure. So I said, I'm telling him he lost his mind. He said, that's for sure. Of course, we don't see the whole version or hear the whole version. And at the time, we didn't know. But it further came out right because he apologized right i said i'll go see but you know man it would be hard to he said well i'm i'm gonna be a monkey's uncle it's sad but funny see past is my past is real so uh let's see i want to get he said i will i was trying this is why he did it listen to this i was trying to make the word come alive right he said in a video which he spits in his hand before rubbing it on a man's face on stage in front of his congregation. Just before spitting on his hand, Todd said, receiving vision from God might get nasty, right? So the man on stage was identified as his brother. That nigga's a sucker. Ain't no way in hell, right? 
me and my brother would have been fighting on that stage. In the video, there's a, a you know, the audience gabs, as you could hear, in which time, how you just re react is how the people in your life will react when God is doing what it takes for the miracle. You could have said that without rubbing spit on his face. So Todd apologizes. Uh, Todd apology came after his own. He only apologized after so much negativity came. So this is what he said. It never, it was never my intention to distract others from God's word and the message of Jesus. Even with the illustration, Todd wrote on Twitter, I apologize for my example being too extreme and disgusting. I love everybody. Clearly, you don't love your brother. I truly understand now why the elders used to frequently tell us that we're in the last days. What does that got to do with you spitting in your hand and rubbing it on your brother's face? He said, Todd said, in, in a follow-up video, he said, Todd, Todd says that he hopes people who saw the viral video will watch the rest of the message to hear the points he was making. And you may have been making some important messages, but I think there's a way, there was a way to make those points without sitting there spitting in your hand and rubbing it in, in somebody's face. That don't make sense to me. I don't get it. That's crazy. I'm not about to... <laughs> Listen... You know, you know, listen, you know how often my daughter sneezes in my face and two days later I'm sick? Come on, dude. That, that, listen to me. You lose the whole message when you spit in your mouth, rub it around. There's boogers, so much extra stuff that, <sighs> dummy, big, big, big dummy. Just dumb. That was dumb. That didn't make sense. So, listen, man. This has been a great podcast, right? And I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Don't spit in your hand and rub it in nobody's face. Listen, focus on your nutrition. Learn your body. That's my message for the day, man. When you know your body, there's no one that can tell you any different about you if, when you know your body, right? I, I'm going to make the adjustment. The, this was the first day of my adjustment, right? I'm going to be honest. I haven't ate. I haven't had a meal since about four or five o'clock yesterday. I've been fasting, right? It's been just drinking fluids. You, uh, I had my fat burner from EPN Nutrition. I had my BCAAs from EPN Nutrition. Make sure you enter the code MJohnson10, all caps. Make sure you go over and get your, your tees, your hoodies. I got something on my, on the podcast merch store for everybody, man. Support the podcast, man. But once you learn your body, man, I got a message from, from a listener and they kind of was thanking me for episode 11 and how I talked about the importance of nutrition and fitness and nutrition and body and just making those adjustments to be a better you but a part of making those adjustments and being better you is learning along the way learning your what works and keeping it and what doesn't work and tossing it right toss it to the left right so again i appreciate your support this is mtmj fit podcast episode 15 i am your motivator i am your personal trainer peace